Saturday. Yet again, here it is. But I've got to tell you guys a little update. I had um, some Javal, not Javalia, Lavazza this morning uh, in my French press because I'm out of my Four Sigi uh, ground coffee. But um, this that I'm drinking now, update, is the um, instant chicory cocoa coffee that I got at Kroger a few weeks ago. I've really been enjoying this. You know, I've had chicory, these instant chicory beverages before. They're like a decaffeinated drink. There's no caffeine in these, although this one there actually might be some. But anyways, I had the brand Dandy Blend before, and I think there's another company, Ticino. I've never had Ticino, but I've had Dandy Blend. <laughs> anyways, this is really good. It has cocoa in it. That's why I put that little caveat about the caffeine. I think the co cocoa probably has a little bit of trace caffeine in it. Yeah, I've been enjoying this as my uh, afternoon decaf. I wish I had purchased a few more of these because they were on sale. And uh, I worry that Kroger won't get them back in stock. They're over, they were over in the um, international section. Speaking of international, I uh, put on for you guys this morning this Bioderma Photoderm Anti-Redness SPF 50 Plus. Now, this is for those of you in uh, France. <laughs> The UK. I think a viewer in the UK was nice enough to send this to me. It has biscotrizol, bimetrizinol, and avobenzone. So you get really good coverage for both UVB as well as really nice coverage into UVA. You see here in the States, our chemical sunscreens, all we're going to get is avobenzone and it's not stable. But elsewhere, you have these other filters like um, tinnosorb, aka uh, bimetrizinol, that give you more coverage of UVA, but they also stabilize avobenzone, so they make it better. Uh, but this is really sensitive skin friendly. In fact, it's ideal for people with rosacea. And it has iron oxides in it, which will protect against pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. The tint is really nice. This is a good one for fairer skin types that are seeking a tinted sunscreen. Now, darker skin types seeking a tinted sunscreen in the UK, I recommend Altruist. Uh, but for those of you who are fair and are looking for a tinted one, this is fantastic. No added fragrance and it's super moisturizing. My only gripe is that it's tiny. Like I've only used it a few times and I'm almost out of it, but it's a nice tint. I'm flipping you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice tint. So this is great. Yeah, if you live here in the States, you can, I think you can get this actually, you might be able to get it on Amazon UK. I don't know if they'll ship here. A viewer sent me that one. I'll link it down below, but don't be surprised if you go to the link and it says don't ship to US, that happens. Yeah, anytime I talk about one of these sunscreens that my international audience has sent me and everyone in the States is like, how do I get it? How do I get it? How do I get it? So I'm not really sure that you can get it. But um, I do want to mention it because I know those of you outside of the U.S. who watch me are always looking for sunscreens, and I mostly talk about those that are available here. So yeah, this is fantastic. And if you're American, you happen to be traveling to Europe. I'm sure you can get this throughout Europe. Pick this up. It's a good one. I, I recommend it. I don't know. I think it's actually pretty affordable there. Let me know what the price point is for the sunscreen. Oh my gosh, this week has been crazy. Houston had a water main break, massive flooding. The whole city was under a, what? I'm not sure what that was. The whole city was under a water boil notice. Let me go check that because it might be a package delivery. Anyways, what I was trying to tell you guys is we were under, we've been under a watch boil notice. We have to boil all of our water. It's been challenging. And I hope everybody who has been affected by the localized flooding, I mean, it, it flooded without there being a single cloud in the sky, no rain whatsoever. Um, very scary though, massive flooding. So if, I really hope that if you live in an area in Houston that was affected, that you are okay and that you were able to, to not, you know, to, to be safe is what I'm getting at. But uh, yeah, we've had to boil all of our water and I believe it's probably lifted. I actually haven't checked, but last night, I, I fell asleep and I'm not sure if the if the boil notice has lifted. Very uh, sticky situation to say the least. Anyways, you guys, I got my spring Fab Fit Fun box to open for you all today, but I'm kind of nervous because I have been so busy lately with work 
that I forgot to go in and customize it. And so I have no idea what is in this. But for those of you who aren't familiar, no, this is not sponsored. I actually buy this myself. I got roped into it by various different influencers doing their unboxings. I was like, I want one. And I continue to get it. I actually really enjoy it. It comes seasonally. It has a ton of great stuff. And I can't remember what the total valuation of the box is. They're pretty good, I will say. The last box was really good, but I remember to customize that one. I got like a planner that I actually use uh, at work. And I, um, what else did I get? Something in the kitchen that I use a fair amount. I can't quite remember. Anyways. They always have some charity that they donate to, and I feel as though, where did I see it on this box? I don't wanna show you my address. Was I hallucinating when I saw that? Oh, no, it wasn't. Dress for success. Dress for success. I actually donate my clothing to a fair amount. I always love the little publication that comes with it too. Um, a little periodical. In elementary school, when your librarian was teaching you how to use the library, and they were talking about periodicals, the periodical section. I mean, is, is that even part of people's language anymore? A lot of you guys who watch me are actual librarians and I would love, like, I imagine, like it's could change so much. You, you know, what I was taught in kind of library arts is irrelevant at this point. The Dewey Decimal System, magical. Those little cards, <laughs> loved it. I guarantee you though, I'm gonna get a lot of bogus skincare in here because I didn't customize it. Like stuff with a bunch of essential oils in it. Oh, it looks like FabFit, maybe I'm not reading this in full, but it looks like FabFitFun is going to expand to have a um, kind of like a, what is that subscription stop service where there's a stylist? My mom did it for a while and she actually was really happy with it. Stitch Fix. Looks like they're kind of branching out into that genre of of boxes. Anyways. All right, what do we have first? Oh, a hair care product. Now I'm a little more open to trying out the different bogus hair care stuff that they send. And this actually might be kind of good. It's a leave-on conditioner. This brand is cruelty-free leave-on conditioner. Yeah, if you use these kind of leave-on conditioners multiple times a week, it can lead to a buildup that leads to breakage. And uh, so you need to use a, a shampoo that's marketed as a clarifying shampoo. Deep Sleep Body Cocoon. This works. All right, th is this a lavender scented lotion? I guarantee it is. When used nightly after bathing and before bedtime to restore and restore, restore, restore and nourish the skin whilst you sleep. All right, this works. It's a British brand. All right, we got something from Murad here that's laden with fragrance. Unfortunately, a lavender oil is the last ingredient. And see, that's the kind of thing that people aren't gonna realize is fragrance. Does it actually have additional added fragrance to it? Probably. Yeah, lavender oil is, is fragrance. Uh, it's got linalool and whatnot in it. And people think that it's not fragrance, they don't realize that, yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, your immune system doesn't care if it's natural or synthetic. Anyway, what is this? Yeah, and it also has fragrance added to it. What the flip is this? Rapid collagen infusion. I think this is just... It has olive oil in it. I've talked to you guys about the limitations of using olive oil and leave-on moisturizers. There are studies that show that it actually worsens transepidermal water loss, but manufacturers will still put it in. Um, yeah, it's just like a lightweight moisturizer with fragrance. You can definitely smell the fragrance in that. A body oil, I already know I'm not gonna use this. Yep, body oil by Marianella, boy. Rosewood and, I mean, body oil, like, okay, oils, they've been having a thing for the past decade and they're just emollients. I mean, they just soften and smooth the skin. They don't really lock in hydration and most moisturizers already have an, some oily emollient component to it. Um, but when you put them on the skin, they make your skin look really luminous, but an oil with fragrance in it is just a, a recipe for, for irritation. Oh, now this I'm excited about. Silicone straws, these are super convenient. What is this company? Chic and Tonic. 
Oh, cool. That. That's good because all of my um, reusable straws are really long and these are actually nice and short. And it comes with a little brush. That is great. You never have enough of those kinds of things. And then we also got an energizing two minute watermelon polishing peel. Do I even need to say no and explain why? I don't think so. Anyways, all right, what's next? Gravity weighted sleep mask. I love these things. Sleep masks. Oh yes, I'm all about that. All right. It's weighted. I love that kind of thing. It really helps. Oh, and you can you can adjust the the pressure, how tight it is on your face. I'm definitely gonna use that. Does this one have fragrance in it? Probably. Um, no, one pound. If anything, you could uh, you could do some kind of exercise with it. It's kind of a lot of weight to put on your face in the middle of the night. I don't know. And then, what is this? It actually looks really cute. Doni looks like a dress. Look at an outfit. Oh, that's cute. I like that. It's actually like a little shawl. This is cute, it's like a little shawl. This would be cute. I have a navy blue dress. I'll take you guys in my closet and show you guys. I have a navy blue dress, so this will look really cute draped over. I'm actually gonna use Girl, this. This is a new steamer I got at Costco. No, I haven't tried it out yet. But what with the water boil notification being on, I didn't wanna put potentially contaminated water in there and have it ruin the whole thing. So that was a reason to procrastinate. Anyways, this is a little navy blue dress that I've been loving lately. I got this on at Macy's a while ago and I love to wear navy blue as like kind of my work wear. I find it just goes well with anything. Anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, I kind of like to keep a minimal wardrobe. I don't like to have a lot of clothing around. And, uh, but it's nice to have little pieces that you can layer over basics. So this is actually kind of cute for the summertime. And this is a perfect fabric for Houston. Here, I'll show you on the hanger because it's like almost like a little linen. Yes, I took my sweatshirt off and changed my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cute. It's got pockets in it. Wow, that's nice. And it is a, it's a great fabric for Houston. It's kind of like a seersucker, linen-y type thing, linen-y. <laughs> oh, let me show you guys. I just got this on the Amazonian. It's a new jewelry box I got and I'm loving it. Um, it's by this company or brand, Viafin, Pragmatic Jewelry Organizers. It um, is clear, it has clear glass on the top. So I like that, you can see everything. My jewelry organization was a disaster. I just tidied this all up. They always have in these jewelry boxes ample storage for rings and I don't really wear rings that much. So I decided to use that for all my little earrings and I think it's gonna work out really well. Like see, I only have one ring. <clears throat> and then this part is actually kind of cool. It's for your necklaces. There's a little hump, and an arch in the center. So it kind of helps them to lie a little bit nicer and it's got these little hooks here. And then I just kind of put my little bracelets here. This is a necklace that I got on QVC that I love. And I just have my little Swarovski bling that I like to wear. I got that, I think on Etsy. Um, yeah, that's my jewelry box that I just got. I'll link it down below for you guys. I'm really happy with it. Um, this is a jewelry box that I was using. I kind of outgrew it. I got this from the container store a few years ago, but the problem with it is, is it's kind of hard to get in and out of. Here's a ring that I got in a Fab Fit Fun box. I actually wear this a fair amount. I just have some kind of miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, and you can't really see what's inside, so it's easy to forget about your jewelry, whereas this is right in front of your face. And then I also have this that I've had for a long time. I got this at Target on clearance, and I think I paid like $3 for it, and I love it. It's just a little stand to hang necklaces. 
soon. So I have that. I've had this for a long time too. It's handy for draping bracelets. It was a gift. And then this little plate I sometimes set earrings on. That was from a FabFitFun box. But I'm just taking you guys on a jewelry organization storage. Oh, and here's my little homie. <laughs> He's here. Do you guys have you guys ever seen these? I don't know if they still have them anymore. They used to come there used to be like a gumball machine toy and you could collect uh, different ones. I've had this for years and he sits there. And I also have this little pewter bowl that my mom has passed down to me. It's like a she likes to call it an heirloom. <laughs> but yeah, I sometimes throw rings and uh, jewelry in there and whatnot. So yeah, that's a little tour of my jewelry impromptu. <laughs> oh, update. I know I said I wasn't going to leave my desk here and definitely I'm sorry, I'm in a little cave, so I'm echoey here, but I've actually really been loving it there. So I think I'm just going to keep it there, even though it is maybe a little awkward to have that massive desk there, but I find that it's just help, more helpful there than where it was before because when I walk in, I can set things on there and I find that I'm actually using it more positioned here than where it was before. So I'm gonna keep it there. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys one other thing. That, this is turning into a, let me show you stuff that's new. Um, I picked these up at Kroger this week in the seasonal section. All, you know, they got all the Easter decor, their new placemats. I just thought they were really pretty. They were just a couple of bucks. Um, so I got two, I got three of them actually. Um, I just think they look really pretty with my pinks and whatnot. Yeah, gotta love Kroger. I always find good stuff there. Oh, and my new tree is doing really well. I'm loving that. I think it really just makes makes it look, I don't know, happier in here. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like my newer arrangement. Um, I just find that it's making better use of the space. I want to hang up Margot's little future apartment. I got this shelf um, at Home Goods. I have it here temporarily, but my idea is I want to hang it up and make it into like a little cute apartment. I know that sounds odd, but they have adorable little Margot sized furniture for Blythe on Etsy and just like little cute miniatures. And I thought I could make it like a little apartment scene um, and uh, kind of change things out seasonally. Right now I just have my little Costco mood lighting in there, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I just, I'm commitment phobic when it comes to hanging things on the wall. So I have it there temporarily, but that's my idea for that. So yeah, those are just some home updates and the FabFitFun box was kind of so-so mm, this, this time. But um, this vlog is getting kind of long. I actually have plans later on this afternoon to meet up with some friends and then later on I think we're gonna go out to dinner. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you all enjoyed it and that you're having a fantastic weekend. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.